why must we urgently strengthen pharmaceutical systems in low- and middle-income countries? The pharmaceutical system is a subsystem of the broader health system and plays a pivotal role in healthcare delivery. When managed and used appropriately, pharmaceuticals and health technologies save countless lives while saving countries millions of dollars in their health budgets. Conversely, weak pharmaceutical systems can be fatal, and this is often most evident in low- and middle-income countries. Currently, nearly 2 billion people globally lack access to basic medicines, and cost escalations and shortages are an ever-present threat. Substandard and falsified medical products is another catastrophic issue. 66 children in the Gambia are thought to have been killed by unsafe medicine. And this isn't an isolated incident. In Sub-Saharan Africa alone, half a million people are thought to be killed by substandard and falsified medical products each year. According to the World Health Organization, around 10% of medical products in low- and middle-income countries fall into this substandard or falsified category. And that number is between 19 to 50 percent in sub-Saharan African nations. This indicates weak pharmaceutical systems and highlights the need for urgent action. Stronger pharmaceutical systems are required to ensure the affordability, safety, efficacy and quality of medical products and to get the right products to the right places at the right time. For example, if a medicine is frequently out of stock or the official source is unaffordable, this leaves room for alternative providers. To tackle this, every element of the pharmaceutical system must be strengthened. This includes ensuring that the right products of the right quality are always available and that there are financing schemes available to make medicines affordable. There is an immediate need for stakeholders to shift away from viewing medicine solely as an input commodity or a supply chain concern. Instead, we must take a more holistic and comprehensive view that recognizes the various structures and interactions within the broader health system. By strengthening pharmaceutical systems, which includes ensuring appropriate regulation of medical products and technologies and strengthening supply chain functions, we will improve access to safe and quality-assured medicines at affordable prices, thereby helping to improve health outcomes. To strengthen pharmaceutical systems, we need governments to prioritize interventions and allocate sufficient resources, donors to increase investments, implementing partners and technical organizations to think and act systematically, and patients to demand the availability of quality medical products and technologies. We all have a role to play. What is yours?